Hi, it's Johnny Buffet back with you on Cruise Crew TV. I'm continuing my long weekend, uh, Baltimore and now New York City. It's uh, July 1st, 2003, Canada Day. So I'm here with Ron from Philadelphia, and we're uh, at some soup. Actually, I'm just about to sit down and have some soup. We're uh, under the, um, the canopy. Uh, we're uh, covered from the rain, and I uh, happen to luckily snag a, uh, a seat, a dry seat, so I can enjoy my soup sitting down. And I get to uh, talk to my, my uh, to my family. So fun. Yeah, I gotta gotta ask you first yeah. the most important question, at least for me. Oh, oh, that's great. Now wait just a minute. This is the most important question you're gonna ask me. The most important question. Yes. I want to hear because. Coming from Philly, and I hope, I really do hope you uh, enjoy living in Philly in this manner. Of all the cheesesteak establishments in Philadelphia, which one is the best? Pat's. Oh, you heard it here first, everybody. Pat's is in South Philly at the corner of, uh, is it 8th or 9th? It's 8th. 8th and uh, Pasenyak, Wharton Way? That's exactly right. That's where it's at. Now, what makes Pat's better than Gino's? Well, it's it's the cheapest. <laughs> the cheapest it's, meat? It's the cheapest. I suppose they get cheaper. They got to make a profit, and so I'm sure it's meat, and that's why I like it, though, because it's cheap. All right, but in terms I mean, of... If you're looking Best cheesesteak. Yeah, we're talking the best cheesesteak at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, are you recommending Geno's? Are there any other places? That is the most important question for me, anyway. Oh, my word. Here, well, let me ask you the most important question. Sure. Sure. What, <clears throat> when you look around at New York City, and uh, all of these people here who represent uh, tours. A, lot of nations. a lot of tourists, they represent a lot of nations from all around the world. And when you think about our biggest problems that we have in the world, now what do you think would be the most important question you might ask me? Oh, you better go get your umbrella. Oh, thank you. What's your name? My name is Abraham from Africa, Senegal. I'm out working for Grey Line Sightseeing for the Double Deck Bus so, And we are here to welcome each tourist from all over the world. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's a uh, nice, uh, well, you know, uh, a little plug for Grey Line of, uh, Grey Line of America. Right. How much is a tour? Okay. We sell the two days pass for $59. That's make you to enjoy downtown, uptown Brooklyn and the night tour. And either two, you can visit the Yankee Stadium with the same package for $59. And we welcome all the tourists. We are very nice. And you feel free to ask us all direction and whatever you want in New York City. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So back to our most important question. Right. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Have you ever read Soren Kierkegaard? You know, who the, you know that name, Soren Kierkegaard? No. I don't want to take too long. So I, I just... Um, I think I thought the most most important question, other than the best cheesesteak in Philly, would be, out of the two soups that we're gonna that I'm about to have. Well, I'm gonna, have, and you're already having another. What kind of soup is that? This is, this is lentil soup. Lentil, lentil, lentil soup. Where did you Where did you get that? Uh, right around the corner at the uh, deli down by the Edison Hotel. All right. So, do you know the name of the deli? No, I don't know the name. Of the okay. Deli. See, my soup is from the Soup Man on uh, just up the street. And John, let me ask you a question. Why is <laughs> That we're talking about trivia rather than what's most important. Because uh, the only thing I like to talk about is cruises and food. Ah, uh, well, that's not going <laughs> to solve, solve our world problem. Okay, no, I'm here to entertain the world, not solve their problems. Ah, uh, well, I'm here to solve their problems and not to entertain anybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Can you hold on to that? Sure, sure, and hold on. 
Soren Kierkegaard said this when he was 24 years old. The thing is to find the truth that's true for me, the idea for which I'm willing to live and die. Okay. You, when can I the find, you can hold the mic while right. I do a little uh, 360, all right. You can talk all you want. The, uh, the, for me, the idea for which I'm willing to live and die. He said, when I find that, I found myself. Kierkegaard said, do not know themselves, do not know that they do not know. Around Times Square here, how many of these people do you think know what they're willing to live and die for? That's the most important question. I'm just about to have my soup, so the most, most important question is at what the are moment you willing to live and die for? Is, the, is the soup going to be good or bad? <laughs> You, you can you can see that John and I aren't aren't thinking about the same problem, right, John? It's a good thing I'm sitting down because I wasn't. My knee my knees just fall from weak knees. Whatever Elaine had, whatever problem that Elaine had on that episode, I would have the same problem. But anyway, whew, that's a good soup. John, John, you know, uh, Ron, we gotta go. Uh, here, last question, John. Yes. Socrates, famous for two words. Did you say Socrates? Socrates. Uh, signing off with John. <laughs> All right, and uh, and Ron, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. It's Johnny Buffy from Times Square with Ron. We'll be back with more right after this.